so continuing with the concepts of uh, electric potentials the next concept is eco potential surfaces so focus on this diagram this diagram has many circles and at the center there is a point that point is assumed to be the common center for all the circles okay now you understood the diagram actually the center point is the position of a q coulomb charge q coulomb charge is the charge which produces electric field around it you can measure electric potential anywhere these each circles are spheres so they are not circles they are spheres so it means now this diagram is like a large number of concentric spheres placed in the electric field concentric spheres means one sphere if i consider a sphere here this is a charge this is one sphere imagine this position of the charge is center of the sphere the distance of this point from the surface from the surface from the surface is the same because the radius of a sphere is constant and it is center of the sphere then if these distances are same you can measure so means all these distances this distance this distance this distance this distance they are same if they are same then electric potential here will be v here also v here also v here also v we can take it as v1 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 so electric potential everywhere on this sphere is v1 but if you measure electric potential somewhere here it is not v1 it is v2 because it will be different why different because distance is different so it means electric potential from a charge at equal distance will be same so what is your conclusion then electric potential everywhere on this sphere is equal therefore this sphere we can call it as a equipotential sphere or the surface of this sphere you can call it as a equipotential surface now come to this diagram so in this diagram there are large number of spheres all of these spheres are concentric common center of this these spheres is the position where the charged body is placed then each sphere acts like a equipotential sphere so means the surface of each sphere is a equipotential surface got it so these spheres means these equipotential surfaces are having a particular properties those properties we can call them as a characteristic properties of equipotential surfaces before that we have to define equipotential surface what is equipotential surface a surface around a charged body on which work done in moving any other charged body is zero so concentrate a surface around a charged body so means this is one surface around this charged body on which work done in moving any other charged body is zero work done in moving any other charged body is zero got it okay now concentrate the characteristics of equipotential surfaces there are five characteristics i have mentioned here these are five characteristics out of which you have to answer two for two mark question or three for three mark question draw the equipotential surfaces and hence define equipotential surfaces was a two mark question it was asked in the previous examination characteristics of equipotential surfaces are asked sometimes for two marks and sometimes for three marks so as the definition itself says work done on moving any other charged body on the equipotential surface is zero that is the first characteristic property of the equipotential surfaces work done in moving any charged body on the equipotential surface is zero 
second property is potential difference between any two points on the equipotential surface is zero potential difference between any two points on the equipotential surface is zero potential difference means now as i told you potential here v1 here v1 here v1 and here v1 you can see so means equal distance so this is the equipotential surface already i told so equipotential surface means this is potential v1 and this is also potential v1 therefore potential difference between any two points on the equipotential surfaces is zero so no potential difference okay so when there is no potential difference work done w is equal to vq formula is there you can write it as a delta vq also delta v is a potential difference when the potential difference is zero zero into q is equal to zero so it means we from this second property we have come to the first property or definition of the equipotential surfaces work done on equipotential surface is zero why is zero because potential difference is zero got this okay so the second property is potential difference between any two points on the equipotential surface is zero now it is very important one more concept you have to understand this is a point where the point charge is placed i call it as q around this q this is one sphere this is another sphere imagine both are equipotential spheres both are equipotential spheres so these equipotential spheres now for example this is a point this is a distance if i take it as a d1 this distance can't be d1 it is d2 if this distance is d1 potential will be v1 if this distance is a d2 potential will be v2 if d2 becomes d1 then definitely v2 will become v1 so means this sphere should coincide with this sphere should lie on this sphere okay but if both the spheres coincide then we can say this is single sphere it means if d1 and d2 are equal there you can't imagine two spheres if d1 and d2 are equal then the center for the both the spheres is same distance for both the spheres is same and radius for both the spheres is same means uh, definitely both the spheres are single sphere means uh, you can say it is a single sphere there are no two spheres what is your conclusion from this if distance changes potential changes if potential changes uh, there are two spheres so it means uh, two spheres are at different potentials if the two spheres are at different potentials then they do not intersect they can never be intersect the third point is no two equipotential surfaces are at same potential no two equipotential surfaces intersect each other if you say they are at same potential means that they are the same sphere otherwise if they are not at same potential means they are not a same spheres they are two different equipotential surfaces so the third point is no two equipotential surfaces are at the same potential no two equipotential surfaces intersect each other okay so if this is the position of the point charge this is a boundary of the electric field in between these two taking care that every radius is increasing means every sphere's radius is increasing by 1 micrometer i am telling 1 micrometer if radius is increasing by 1 micrometer means they are not coinciding they are different so means you can draw infinite number of spheres here you can show infinite number of spheres and which do not coincide which do not overlap every sphere you can say it is a equipotential sphere or equipotential surface hence there exist 
there exist infinite number of equipotential surfaces in the field of a charge got it so these are the five characteristic properties of equipotential surfaces okay thank you